and they're 80 yards away. The career long field goal for Casey Barth is 49 yards. First and ten. Yates down the field. Open his way. Oh. We got a penalty. And a flag. That's going to be a launch on the reception. Yeah. Big catch by Harrelson. Great catch. And then Jansen Jackson came in, and the officials ruled he led with his helmet. He launched himself at him. No question. Wow. wow. Unnecessary rough. That's going to tag a bunch more yardage on. There's the launch. And make the first point is how Todd Harrelson came that open right there. First and ten. I wonder if Dwight Jones gets another opportunity, Mark. Quick slant. There it is. Dwight Jones. And that might be a late hit. No flag. Now you have to get up there and just spike that football if you're Carolina. And Yates stops the clock after the 12-yard gain. That's LaMarcus Thomas coming in late, number 42. Let's take a look at this again at the end of this play. That's wow. a penalty. That is, that looked like a penalty for sure. There we go, second and 10, 16 seconds to go. Carolina without timeouts. Now they get up there and spike that football. And drawn down to the 17. They got to get up time. there and spike it. Five seconds to go. What are they doing? Spike it! They're going to lose it. They won't. I think there's it. one second left. I think there's a second left. Is there a flag? Yeah, there's a flag. But I think there was a second left when he spiked that football. Carolina had about 13 or 14 people on the field. We've got to sort this out. Here's the call. Oh, it's done. Of all the clock management, mismanagement situations we've seen all season, that may have been the worst. Carolina with the opportunity to get up there and spike the football. Looked like they tried to get the feet when that football ultimately was spiked. They're going to review this. Wow. I thought there was a second left when he spiked that ball. And Casey Barr is still warming up. And I'll tell you something. Butch Davis in Carolina, if there's a second left, will have survived. This is real time we're watching it in. Okay. The officials are looking at exactly what we're looking at. And we'll make this decision. Now this is going to be the run to drone. And right now the decision is if you're Carolina, get up there and spike the ball. But you see the field goal team trying to get on the field. But did he spike it with one second left? Just watch the snap. He spiked it with one second left. They're going to get a they're going to get a penalty mark, but there's going to be a second left. He'll get a chance. Casey Barth for Casey Barth will have an opportunity. The offensive team had more than 11 players on the field. That's a five-yard penalty. However, the ball was snapped and it hit the ground with one second. That is a great shot by that Big Ten crew. And anybody that questions instant replay and its significance in college football. So here we go. Casey Barth from 37 yards away. Casey Barth lining up. Will Tennessee ice him? They've got two timeouts remaining. I think they should let him kick it because there's some chaos right now. Don't you? Yeah. Don't I ice him go. and let it calm down. From 38 yards out. Barth. He made it. Sends us into overtime. After all the chaos. Wow. 
Butch, Jim, Butch Davis and Carolina survive a clock management meltdown. But how about the Tennessee defense? Tennessee taking that ball because of a huge, comp excuse me, Carolina taking that ball because. But to no avail. What a season for North Carolina and Tennessee. You couldn't make this stuff up. <laughs> Ask Casey Barth, he'll tell you. And working now with just half the field from the 12 and a half. First down in overtime. Gates completes it down to the five. <laughs> that was Ryan Taylor to think that. Drone trying to get to the edge. It's a foot race. Brought down. Got another face penalty. mask. Sean Drone was brought down by the face mask. And that's going to be a penalty and a first down. Yeah, Prentice Wagner. Boy, Tennessee is imploding right now. And the big offensive fullback in there at about 300 pounds. And, up to drone. and he gets in for the score. Oh, no, they're going to mark it at the one. Looked like he ended up all the way in the end zone, but his knee may have tucked. He just keeps it himself. No signal yet. Touchdown now. They're going to go for one on the extra point. Here's one more look. Yates. He didn't make it by much on that first effort. Well, it's the little bit of the bush push by Tydrick Powell. The defensive tackle in there at fullback pushed him into the end zone. Can't take these extra points for granted. We've seen it. Ray into the end zone. Hey, Dari, you know, Tyler Braybob isn't the shy guy anymore, is he? Well, I'll say this. Derek Dooley needs to get this correct because this has happened repeatedly tonight. From Tennessee. Play action. And picked off. Start event. And North Carolina now can win it on a field goal. Quentin St Juan Sturdivant with the pick. He's still a freshman. You were saying a moment ago, yeah. Bob. Could he finish mistake-free because he is still a freshman? Juan Sturdivant, the senior linebacker, Just threw it to him. You saw number 46 slipped. Channing Fugate, the fullback. But a freshman is still a freshman. But Derek Dooley, you've got a special one. It's seven of his last nine passes. Drawn with a great move. John Drawn with a first down. And Drawn. Gets it deep into Tennessee territory. Ray watching helplessly now. He's got a great block. Always think about that snapper, Mark House, the holder, Trace Jones. It's not just Barth, it's the whole mechanics. From 23 yards out. And Carolina takes it home. Davis's North Carolina Tar Heels
That's their eighth win of the year in a tumultuous, turbulent season. And the freshman quarterback, Tyler Bray, feeling agony and despair on the other end of the spectrum. Does, does anybody think? 30 to 27 in a thrilling game here in Nashville. Right now, we send you to Dari Noka. Dari?